she has within herself as well. And I'm wondering what the, what the process was like for you, trying to figure her out and trying to figure out all of those sort of complexities and those dualities going on in her. You know, um, I didn't know a lot about Lynn going into the project. Um, I joke that I knew that Eminem didn't like her. That was <laughs> kind of my extent of my knowledge of her. And so in doing the research, I was really amazed at what a prolific writer she was. She has a doctorate. And suddenly I knew there would be a lot of information out there that she had volunteered. Um, she hosted a talk show. She, there was a lot. And she's a very complex woman and very intelligent and outspoken, really, and, and not afraid to voice her opinion. And whether I agree with her opinion all the time or not, I really valued that. That was something that I could hook into as, as a way into the character. And, um, she wrote a book, and then I got to listen to her read the book on tape, you know, so uh, she's a surprisingly um, ambitious, that I was surprised at how, how uh, ambitious she was. Yeah, she was fun to, to dive into. Yeah. yeah. You've, I've read that you've mentioned that she kind of reminds you in some ways of your grandmother, and there's sort of an yeah. Americanness, there's sort of a, a very accessible quality to her that's almost like a secret weapon, that sort of Americana aspect to her. And let's talk about like how almost in some ways that sort of sensibility, once you kind of bring it into Washington or bring it into kind of compared, obviously, with Dick, it becomes a, a sort of much more formidable force, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, she, her patriotism is uh, born and bred in, in Wyoming and a cowboy, here I go, a cowboy spirit. I, I get kind of into it. My, my grandmother was from Utah and was raised on a farm and uh, we would go to rodeo. She would take me to rodeo. So it's this really rich, steeped in history Americana that she really celebrated. And, and when you bring that to Washington and she applied that to, I'll keep going about Lynn. <laughs> um, she applied that to uh, the jobs that she worked on. She was an advocate for education. Um, and really her idea of patriotism was so tied into the respect of American history and how we presented that to our children, yeah. We were just talking just now in the hallway. In so many ways, she's actually she's a much more political animal than Dick was. Like in in so many ways that it, anyone she kind of would have married would have kind of gone along with her the strength of her personality, the power of her convictions. In some ways, she's the the if Dick might be the the Iron Fist, she's the Velvet Glove, isn't she? I like that. I'm going to steal that. Yeah, That's right. That. Um, uh, yes, she's the Velvet Glove. I I don't know. I think she was a little more yeah, I was iron. Gonna he say, might have been the velvet glove, actually. There's nothing about uh, him that's a velvet glove. Yeah. I, I haven't had the opportunity to meet her. And Christian always says, I hope I get to sit down across from Dick Cheney one day. I'm like, I can't. I'm not sure I want to. I can say the same. Well. Uh, just because we've I've heard from from people and from some of uh, our resources that she's um, she'll tell you the truth, whether she thinks. Like we actually, you don't know this, but later today we have a, a, a couple's massage schedule. Right? <laughs> chain of so no, I you're would, welcome. I would like to, to meet her, and, and you know whether she is happy with me or not. I think I would owe her the respect of being quiet while she spoke. I, I agree, though, with Amy's interpretation. I mean, one of the fun things about this movie was that. There's such a mystery, the Cheneys, and Dick especially is so enigmatic that I felt like the process the actors go through really became a part of the creation and discovery of the movie. So once Amy jumped in, it helped me. I had the script, but she dug even deeper, and it was so personal, and you could see it come alive, and Christian did the same thing, and... Rockwell did the same thing. Every actor kind of dug a couple feet deeper than what you would just find in a quote or an interview. And uh, and by the end, through Amy's performance, uh, I really, uh, I found myself liking Lynn Cheney as well in a lot of ways, that in a strange way for a woman from Wyoming in the 1950s, she was, kind of, and she would hate this, but she's kind of a feminist. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was a straight A student who got a PhD, who was tough as nails. You see in the scene in the movie where she helps Dick run for Congress, she didn't believe that she could do that. I, I think later she started to become aware of the fact that now it's changed for women, but early on it was always your man. You had to back your man. But the way Lynn did it was so proactive and aggressive. Um, 
And Amy's performance and her work really revealed that to me. Yeah. And obviously Christian